Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, we are going to look at functions. In the context of programming, a function has a name and it contains a sequence of statements that performs a computation. In order for us to create a function, you need to specify the name and the sequence of statements. We have already seen some examples of Python built-in functions such as print and type. It is also possible for us to create a new function. To create a function, we first have to type in def which is one of the Python keywords that indicate a function definition. After that, we are going to name the function and add an empty parentheses after to indicate that this is a function. The rules for function name is quite similar as how we name the variable name. You can use letters and numbers for your function name, but the first character can't be a number. You can't use keyword as the name of a function. You should also avoid having a variable and a function with the same name. Now, let us write a print statement for this function. The syntax for calling the new function is the same as how we call the built-in function. Once we have called the function, it will run the sequence of statements that are written inside the function. We can use a function inside another function. For example, we can create another function and have the function that we have created previously as the statement for this function. In order for us to ensure that a function is created before it is first use, you have to know the order in which statements are executed. Your code in Python is always executed at the beginning of the program and moved to the bottom, going through each line of your code at a time. So far, the function that we have created does not take any argument. We have seen some built-in function that require argument like the print and int functions. We can create a function with an argument by assigning it to a variable called parameters. When we call this function, it will take the arguments and set it as the values of the variables that is inside the function. A function can takes more than one argument. Let us give the function another argument and add a new statement inside the function. When we call the function, we provide the function two arguments and execute the function. The variable that is inside a function only exists inside the function. After the function is executed, the variable is destroyed. If we try to print it, we are going to get an error. We will talk about how to solve this problem as we progress. With that said, we have come to an end for this session. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more future tutorials. Until next time, bye.